today I'm going to show you my favorite clean tones in the Fractal Audio FM9 Turbo. The uh, Fractal Audio FM9 Turbo is my newest purchase. It's a floorboard version of the, uh, of the famous XFX3 a little bit less processing power but uh, same sound quality at least in my ears and uh, I personally prefer it over the XFX now at least when playing at home because you have the foot switches and you can kick in some nice effects or uh, switch from rhythm to lead it's a lot of fun so I showed you this unit in uh, some of my videos but today um, I would like to show you my clean tone, uh, my favorite clean tone and also we will have a look at some of the clean tones that come with the unit. So uh, let me open the editor. It's here and um, currently um, I'm in the scene number six. So uh, if you have seen my videos uh, of that unit before you may know I'm using here one one lane for the uh, effects which are in front of the amp then one lane for the amp cap and then everything that comes after the amp the cap but uh, for cleans I don't use an amp as you may know at least for these uh, crystal clean tones like this <laughs> And uh, this clean sound is designed for this guitar and uh, especially for the uh, split neck humbucker. So currently I'm in split neck humbucker mode and this guitar is a Harley Benton Fusion 3. Everything stock. Got a lot of these guitars, I love them. And these pickups, the Roswell pickups, they sound great uh, with clean tones. Can also get great results with distorted tones but... Uh, For me, I'm always struggling to get good clean tones with uh, humbucker guitars. And with this guitar, it's really... As you can see here, it's uh, already uh, running out of CPU soon. So maybe I have to reduce the patch a little bit. Anyway... Um, so, um, what do I use? Well, the key secret for my clean tone is the parametric EQ. You can see here, um, I'm usually um, dialing out some of the lower mids here, the, uh, around the 300 hertz, with a rather wide uh, Q. And I'm adding some of the uh, presence frequencies here, in this case around the 4.6K. As you can see here, also with a wide, wider range. And I'm blocking the frequencies above maybe 10k or in this case 9, 9k, but um, yeah, that is not that important. And also I'm blocking here the uh, sub bass frequencies. So um, this curve is uh, the curve which I apply usually in all my modeling units for the cleans boost somewhere around this uh, 4k or something and uh, yeah take out some of the mids you can take out even more of the mids if you're playing maybe a Les Paul style guitar I would dial out way more here so um, the next thing which I use on cleans is the compressor which is very important um, because clean tones have a very wide range of dynamics if you're picking the note a little bit harder than usual you get a volume boost and in a live situation uh, that is not tolerable usually if you're playing distorted tones you don't have these uh, dynamics because usually your tone is compressed and it has more or less the same volume but with cleans it's totally different 
So uh, yeah, you need to compress the shit out of it. And here I use the pedal compressor. I don't side chain it. It's just just working. Maybe let's remove this. The next thing I like to use is a chorus, in this case the uh, Japan C2, maybe a boss chorus. But of course um, you could use other choruses for other applications. Chorus is um, I like to set it uh, around 50% the mix, and of course you can play around with the rate and the depth. For more drastic effect, I like to crank the depth. The rate is something which is um, a little bit annoying sometimes. Of course, if you want this effect, this detuning effect, and you can play around with the rate. waterish effect but uh, I personally like the chorus to be a little bit more subtle so I don't crank the rate usually the depth is something which I crank sometimes another chorus which I like uh, I personally like very much is the 80s style chorus And um, what else? Uh, yeah, currently I'm using the enhancer block, which I usually use only at home. It spreads the signal a little bit. If I turn it off, you have the guitar in the center. If you are using a chorus, the enhancer doesn't do that much. And um, so that is basically my favorite clean tone. But let me show you some, uh, some effects which I like to use. So the most important is this. It's a uh, shimmer effect, which is done here with a plex delay. Also, you can crank it a little bit more. And, um,
So the shimmer effect is, yeah, it always gets the attraction of the girls if you're using that live, but uh, don't overdo it. So, uh, yeah, that would be my favorite effect for cleans, uh, except from the delay, of course. So I turn on the delay now. It's, if you're interested, uh, please check out my uh, video about the delay settings, but here I'm using the dual delay with the Petrucci setting. It's this galloping from left to right. Another effect which I like pretty much is uh, this one. It's the wipe. And I use the wipe also sometimes in combination with an amp uh, and cab. But if you want the wipe effect, uh, I recommend to use it uh, behind the amp. Here you find the wipe in the uh, phaser block. What else? Um, of course. Sometimes I like to use the phaser. And the reason why I have two phaser blocks is because um, if uh, you want this Van halen kind of phaser effect, you have to put it in front of the amp. But um, for these vibe settings, uh, usually I would set it um, behind the amp, the cap, at least with the crunch tones. So uh, yeah, yeah, I need to have one in front of the amp and one after the amp. For cleans, of course, one would be enough. Yeah, my phaser settings are... What else? Well, the flanger. Usually I don't use that, uh, I don't use the flanger on um, cleans. Oh, well, I like it, I have to say. But I've never used it. Only for distorted tones. Anyway, let me turn that off. One thing which I forgot to mention is the multiband compression, which I use... Um, But as you can see, it doesn't do anything here, no. I think I use it only for distorted tones in this patch. And uh, yeah, that's my uh, favorite clean tone. But um, as I said before, Sometimes I like to use an amp and a cap block. Then, of course, you don't have these pristine clean tones. But maybe this light crunch, crunchy tone. And let's reduce the volume here a little bit, but... I like to play this sound on the bridge pickup. Oh, 
But of course, you can also apply here, for example, the vibe. Wow. What is that? Foo Fighters. Or Sinatra. What else do we have? Of course, the shimmer. Works also very well here. And as you can see, I'm using the Band Commander amp here uh, with these settings. But um, I was using a, um, a tone match IR, which I made with the Architect Petrucci. So uh, yeah, it was designed um, for the distortion tone, but also it works great with this amp. I recommend the Band Commander for these light crunch tones. Sounds great. So um, that's basically my clean or light crunch setting, which I use. Um, but um, let's take a look at some of the uh, clean sounds that come in the stock presets. So here we have the LA Session Clean, which I like also very, very much. It's a stock preset. Check out some of the uh, scenes here. see here they're choosing different amps so here maybe the Vox which is more mid focused here also but here it's the USA clean it's maybe the uh, Mesa Mark IV clean channel or oh, Triaxis I don't know here you have more lower mids Sounds a little bit like the Roland Jazz Chorus amp to me. Although it's still the USA clean. One of the, yeah, as you can see here, they're raising the lows. And also heavy compression here and here. Super detune. nothing special because the scenes don't have have a name yeah so that is a great preset I can recommend if you are looking for uh, nice 80 clean tones the LA session clean and um, what else this my brother King is the one for me if I am after Fenderish uh, country spanky
although I don't use these sounds very often. Turn on the drive. Yeah, so um, as you may know, I'm not the, uh, the biggest clean guy. Uh, usually I'm playing with lots of distortion, but uh, from time to time, especially if you want to impress girls with your ballady kind of stuff, you have to use clean tones and yeah. Usually I start out with these presets here if I'm looking for for a new clean tone, the LA Session Clean or the Vibrato King. And um, of course I use my uh, yeah, my clean tone, which I showed you on the patches. So um, I hope this helps you to get uh, the best uh, out of your clean sounds. And uh, please post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.